It's 4 o'clock in New York City. It's 3 p.m. in Calvert City, Kentucky. If a thief stole your car, would you offer to pay to fill up the tank? Well, if your answer is no, then why would you continue to agree or continue to agree to pay the corrupt DOJ and FBI to unfairly prosecute you while they allow left-wing lawbreakers to skate? Without fear or favor, the Chris Alcedo Show starts right now. Good afternoon and happy Friday. Welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show here on Newsmax. Here are the headlines. Trending across America, we are burdened with a degraded DOJ. As we will show you in detail, under left-wing rule, the agencies founded to protect us are now harming us. Punished for prayer, while left-wingers demand 100% respect for transvestite story hours, those same left-wingers are openly hostile to people of faith. And you do a deal with the devil, you get the horns. The world's most unreliable business partner, Communist China, goes after Elon Musk. Trish Regan is going to join us to break down the latest threats from our enemy, Communist China. And former NCAA swimmer spokeswoman for Independent Women's Forum is standing by to share her story on how she was attacked by intolerant anti-God left-wingers. But speaking of those targeting lovers of the Lord, Merrick Garland is a corrupt man with an equally corrupt ideology. Christopher Wray is allowing his FBI to be weaponized against Joe Biden's political enemies, his word, not mine. The Democrats believe in forcing us to finance our enemies, China, Russia, Iran. In that same vein, they wish to force us to fund them as they dispense unequal justice as a mechanism to advance their evil worldview. And guys like Mitch McConnell, they're perfectly willing to hand us and our money over. Government's abuse of we the people must end. A wake-up call to real Americans in today's preamble. In case you were with us yesterday, Senator Josh Hawley called out the FBI and the DOJ's anti-Catholic bias. Attorney General Garland, let, let me just ask you, d does your department have a problem with anti-Catholic bias? Our department um, is... Uh... Uh, 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 protects all religions um, and all ideologies. It does not have uh, any uh, bias against any religion of any kind. Well, you could have surprised me because given the resources that you are expending and the apparently intelligence assets that you are deploying against Catholics, it appears, and other people of faith while simultaneously turning a blind eye while people are executed gang style in the streets of our cities, including in my home state, I, your answer frankly surprises me. Let's talk about the Mark Houck case. All right, now before I remind you about the Mark Houck case, let's review something Holly just said. The FBI is taking our money, and instead of targeting criminals, they're targeting us, in particular, the pro-life movement. Mark Lee Dixon is the director of Right to Life of East Texas and the founder of the Sanctuary Cities for the Unborn Movement. He and his group, have successfully lobbied to outlaw abortion in 65 cities in Texas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Nebraska, Ohio, and Iowa. In June of 2020, he was sued by the Lilith Fund for Reproductive Equity, whatever that is, the AFIA Center and the Texas Equal Access Fund for calling the baby butchers, quote, criminal organizations that murder innocent unborn children. The Texas Supreme Court, in a unanimous ruling, stated that, quote, the challenged statements our protected opinion about abortion law made in pursuit of changing that law, placing them at the heart of protected speech under the United States and Texas constitutions. Let that sink in for a little bit, folks. In other words, Mr. Dixon was entitled to his opinion about the organizations that promote the slaughter of babies in the womb. Now, for those of you who are into podcasts, the Salcedo Storm podcast interviewed Mr. Dixon the episode is going to drop this weekend. Dixon conveyed to me what Merrick Garland and Christopher Ray's FBI is up to these days. They're watching us and they're going out of their way to try to catch us in violation 
of the FACE Act. Here in Bristol, Virginia, there was an abortion facility that moved from Bristol, Tennessee to Bristol, Virginia, right across the border. And there's been a lot of stuff going on outside that abortion facility. Well, yesterday, the FBI was there watching everyone on the sidewalk just to see if they were in violation of the FACE Act. Hmm. So instead of seeking to protect Americans, from criminals, criminals supported by the political left in this country. The FBI has been deployed to make an example of anyone who could even be perceived as standing in the way of slaughtering of babies in the womb. That's what Democrats have your FBI doing. And that brings us back to Josh Hawley and the Mark Houck story. Mr. Houck is a Catholic man who stepped in to defend his 12-year-old son from a left-wing freak, pro-abortionist. The left has decided he'd get in the face of a pro-life child. I should point out, this is the same worldview that allows these same leftists to slaughter innocent, voiceless babies in the womb, babies who can't defend themselves from Democrats. Even though a left-wing prosecutor refused to charge Mr. Houck, even though a private lawsuit was dismissed, Merrick Garland and the Democrats who run the Biden regime wanted to send a message. So they went after Houck to threaten, intimidate, and bankrupt his Catholic family. I do not agree with your description of what happened on the scene. You don't agree with my description. I'm pointing out what the photo is. There are agents here who have long guns and ballistic shields. Let's take a look at the hardened criminals that your Justice Department sent these armed agents to go terrorize on that morning. Here they are. Here they are at mass. Here's the seven children with Mr. Houck and his wife. In this early morning, they were all at home. Mrs. Houck has said repeatedly the children were screaming. They feared for their lives. You've got these agents demanding that he come out. They've got the gun, she said, pointing at the house and at them. He has offered to turn himself in. And this is who you go to terrorize. Wow. And while the DOJ terrorizes Catholics and Christians, you won't be shocked to know, according to Mark Lee Dixon on the Salcedo Storm podcast, the FBI isn't investigating or stopping threats of violence against pro-lifers. Over in Bellevue, Nebraska, we, were, we just completed a signature petition drive to try to shut down an abortion facility in Bellevue, Nebraska. And a few months ago, we had a note left on the door of a campus ministry at, at University of Nebraska Omaha campus. And that note said, if the ordinance passes in Bellevue to outlaw abortion, they will shoot up the campus center signed Jane's Revenge. They left a similar note out on a church door saying, if this passes in Bellevue, we will shoot up the church. Wow. Okay. So that meshes with accounts from the hearing where we learned that there have been 130 attacks on churches and over 80 attacks on pro-life women's centers on Joe Biden's Christopher Ray's and Merrick Garland's watch and only two, two prosecutions. You also heard Mr. Howley there mention guns and how leftists are supposed to hate guns, but apparently not when they're aimed at people of faith. It was actually last weekend. We had a volunteer from Texas door knocking in a neighborhood. A car drives by and says, if I see you in this neighborhood again, I will shoot you. And what has the FBI done? Has there been any arrests in those situations? None. And we're tired of it. I think we're all tired of it. We're tired of leftists abusing their power and their positions. And we're tired of Mitch McConnell, Mitt Romney, John Cornyn, and the rest of these Democrats in GOP clothing fully funding the abuse of our people. What Democrats are doing in government is immoral. It's illegal. And it should be defunded. I pray the GOP in the House of Representatives decides to defend us rather than fund this corruption.